welcome. Thank you for choosing to listen to this spirit-filled word by David Entry. When you catch a word, you have caught God. May you catch a word today that will cause God to change your story. Be blessed. Minority report. Say minority report. Jesus said in sorry, Matthew chapter 7, verse 13 and 14. He said, enter. Let's already have from the screen. Let's go on. Is a way that leads to destruction, and there are many who. Verse fourteen. Narrow is the gate, and difficult is the way that leads to life, and there are few that find. How many find the, the good way? Few. But some people, when they see a lot more people are going there, they like it, because majority carries the vote. With God, it has never been majority carrying the vote. It's never been that. If I Jesus puts it this way, woe is you. If all men speak well of you, then there's something wrong with you. If you are a clean Christian and everybody likes your version of Christianity, I think there's something wrong with you. In your university, in your family, in your community, if everybody is happy with you and they like your version of Christianity, you are a very bad Christian or you're actually not a Christian. Everybody can't like you. So, Jesus said, the way that leads to destruction is broad and there are many, many are going in it. Popular opinion. Popular opinion. It is very popular. It is very acceptable. It's an own thing. Everybody is doing it. Those of you who say, everybody, everybody is doing it. But everybody is doing it. But every, you are likely to miss God. You are very likely to miss God. Yeah. Jesus said, but narrow and straight. When you are going in, it is like, you know, you, you're, you're trying. Narrow is the way that leads to life. But only a few, there be that find it. God usually never works democratically. Because with democracy, it's the more, the more votes you have, the more you are the one. So God sent, in fact, let me, before I talk about the spies, when Jesus resurrected from the dead, the Bible says he did not show himself in Acts chapter, chapter 10, verse 40 and 41, whom God raised from the dead and showed him openly, verse 41, and showed him, and not to all the people, but to witness, but why not all the people? It makes evangelism easy. No, God does not work with popular opinion. There are certain people, if they start talking in a certain way, everybody will accept it. Because they are, they are, they are influencers. But God doesn't use influencers. It's in your Bible. He said, look at your calling. How not many noble. God has chosen 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 26, 27, 28, 29. God has chosen the best things of this world to confound the wise. He said, for you see your calling, brethren, not many wise according to the flesh. It doesn't mean we are actually foolish. But according to human standard, we don't fit in. Not many mighty, not many noble are called. Look at the next verse. But God has chosen the foolish things. What the world will not give attention to, God has chosen that one. What is not democratic, what is not politically correct, God said, I want to use that. He has chosen the foolish things. Of the, of the world to, to put to shame the wise. And God has chosen the weak things of the world to put to shame the things that are mighty. Why? So that no one can take the glory. And the best things of the world, he has base. You know what? When said something's just, you won't even regard it. This one is God has chosen. This is interesting. God has chosen the base things of the world and the things which are despised. So why, 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 where did people get this majority carries the vote from? When it comes to God, majority doesn't carry the vote. God, when it comes to God, it's minority report. He sent spies. Twelve of them, Moses sent them to go and spy out the land and come and tell him and the people how the land grows because God said we are going. And they returned. The, the twelve came back. Ten of them brought an evil report. 
to Moses according to Numbers chapter 13. And they, they brought up an evil report to, uh, of the land which they had searched. They have done a research, but their findings was contrary to what God said. Ten of them. Ten to two. Obviously, if it's democracy, they won. But the minority, who in, in uh, J- chapter 14, verse 6, Joshua, the son of Nun, and Caleb, the son of Jephunneh, who were among those who had spied out the land, tore their clothes. Look at the next verse. And they spoke to all the congregation of the children of Israel, saying, the land we passed through to spy out is an exceedingly good land. It's good. The next verse. If the Lord delights in us, then he will bring us into the land, into this land, and give it to us. And a land which flows with milk. He said, don't stop that. Why are these people making your heart break? In fact, when Joshua, the son of Nun, and the son of uh, the other one, Caleb, when they told the people, God will give us the land, why are you crying? Stop crying, God will give us the land. Do you know what, in chapter, um, the next, uh, chapter 14, I think verse 5 or 7, the people, no, verse 5 or so, they picked up stones to stone them. Yeah. That's how much they've been infected by the media. And all the congregation said, uh, said, uh, uh, sorry, all the congregation said to uh, all the congregation said to s- said to stone them with stones. Why? Because they said, no, no, God said, we, let's go. Verse, verse one, they were crying. No? The crying people stopped down. They took up, they picked up. So, uh, so all the congregation lifted their voices and cried. Father, mother, children, everybody, yeah, where you go, everybody, all the children, grandfathers, yeah, what is it? Ah, where they are going, they are, we'll, be, we'll be dead, we'll, they'll kill us. Yeah. Why, why? And they said to Moses, why have you brought us to kill us? Look, the next verse. Moses and Aaron, you want to kill us? You should have left us in Egypt. Why are you doing that? And Moses and Aaron were broken. They were discouraged. So, if you are giving to what everybody likes, you will miss God hands down. Because it says, the whole world lies under the sway of the wicked one. First John chapter 5, verse 19. The whole world. Which part of the world? The whole world. It lies under the sway, so the enemy is blowing. <laughs> when Jesus resurrected, why didn't he show himself to everybody? But he showed himself to people who were afraid and hiding. And I told them, go and tell everybody, those who believe they'll be saved. But Jesus, why don't you make it easy for people to be saved? By you yourself. In fact, before you go to heaven, sometimes like Superman, pass through town. <laughs> you know, it's me really, telling you. The way he showed up when the apostles were afraid, in, according to John chapter 20, verse 28, yeah, that's why my Lord, and 20 says, they came, they were in the room. They were afraid, they locked the room. And Jesus just showed up. He was showing up anyway. So why don't you just show up to many people? We will have a big crowd. To the extent that when the church was born, and many people were joining the church, Ananias and Sapphira, Ananias and Sapphira, they came. But Jesus didn't show himself to everybody. He showed himself to a selected few and told them, go and tell them, those who believe what you are saying, they will be saved. God is a very interesting. He said, because it will take preaching, foolishness of preaching. If they say it's foolish, they lost their salvation. If they say it's good, when others are saying foolish, I will save them. So only a few will be saved. One day they were traveling in Acts chapter 27. He even came and mentioned it. Acts chapter 27 verse 10. Bible said, Paul said, I perceive this voyage was going to be with great loss. Loss. But the Bible says that the centurion, he listened to the owner of the ship. Nevertheless, the centurion, the, the centurion was more persuaded by the helmsman and the owner of the ship than by the things spoken by Paul. Think about it. Paul said, I perceive. They said, our experience. Tell us. Paul said, I perceive. I perceive because he's a spiritual man. He's a spiritual man. Don't try to change your purity in God. Because people are finding it inconvenient. When the, let me, I didn't even finish before I came to Paul, Ananias and Sapphira. People, Bible said multitude were being added to the church. God killed Ananias and Sapphira and no one there joined there. God said, I don't like the multitude. I don't like the multitude. Is there in Acts chapter 5, verse 13 and 14? Bible said, No one, as for the rest of the people, no one dared join himself to them. No one dared. Can you imagine when the church is growing? It says that, and none of the rest 
dead join the same. But yet, the people are still near eye. Look at the next verse. God knows how to. Yet, say, believers. Say, believers. believers. Say, believers. believers. Not followers. Believers. Not Facebook followers. Social media followers. Believers. 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 Were increasingly added to the Lord. Multitudes, both men and women. Meanwhile, God Himself said, Stop coming. Make sure He's he saved those who are coming in. Because He wants purity. Paul said, I perceive that this voyage is going to bring great loss. And he follow, uh, the centurion followed the owner of the ship and the helmsman. And look at not only them, look at the next one. Verse 12 again, please. And because the harbor was not suitable for winter, and major majority advice to set sail. Let's go! Let's go! Majority say, let's go! Let's go, pastor, it's okay! Close the service! You are preaching too long! Let's go! Stream live! Put your mask on when you are preaching, pastor! Majority! Majority! Say majority! Majority! I'm preaching to you minority report. Look at majority report. It only ended up in shipwreck. I don't know. I'm, I'm preaching prophetically. Don't wait for you to be told. I told you. You should have listened to me and not to have sailed. You should have listened to me. Because I spoke by the Spirit. You should have listened to me. Never straight one. After a long abstinence from food, Paul stood in the midst of, uh, of them and said, Men, you should have listened to me and not to have sailed from Crete and incurred this disaster and loss. Some disaster and loss is irreparable, it's irreversible. It shouldn't have happened. You should have been married by now if you had listened. You should have bought your house by now if you had listened. You should have been far ahead. From by now, if you had listened, yeah. we spoke. I think, oh, he doesn't know what he's talking about. You, fo- you, you miss the opportunity to discern between the voice of a prophet and the voice of an ordinary person because of your proximity. You have always interpreted, oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. But when you are dealing with a prophet, it's very interesting. There are times he enters the spirit. And he's speaking. But when you are used to just receiving from his human side, you, you are likely not to want to receive from this because the spirit side is straight and narrow. It's not majority report. Noah. 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 Only, Bible says that only eight people were saved. Only eight. The billions of people were all wiped out by God and saved only eight people, Noah and his family. First Peter, who formerly were, uh, were disobedient uh, when once the, the divine long suffering waited in the days of Noah while the ark was being prepared, in the which only a, a few, that is eight souls, were saved through water. Only eight out of, because Genesis chapter 6, verse 1, it says that the people multiplied. Some, uh, doctors were born. Is that so? so? Now it came to pass when men began to multiply on the face of that, and doctors, I! were born to them. So co- population was great and God wiped everybody out. Chapter, chapter 7, verse 1. Verse, and the Lord says to Noah, come into the ark, you and all your household, because I have seen that you are righteous before me. Only minority. Minority. I like the chapter 6, verse 8. The Bible says that God was upset with everybody. But Noah. Somebody say, but Noah. <laughs> But Noah found grace in the sight of God. Minority. Are you with the minority or just following the majority? But Noah found grace in the eyes of God. Look for someone who is finding grace in the eyes of God. It will help you. Align yourself. Even if you don't like them, align yourself. If you don't like the way he talks, you don't like the way she behaves, you don't want her attitude, sometimes she steps on your toe, the other time the way she, sometimes the way she, please, please, for goodness sake, he has found, this person has found favor in the eyes of God. Bible saved Noah and his household, seven others. In Hebrews chapter 11, verse 7, it said, by faith, Noah, when he was asked, by faith, Noah, when he was divinely warned, 
uh, about things not yet. Move with godly fear. Prepare, prepare an act for the saving of his household by which he, uh, 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 he condemned the world and became heir of righteousness. He condemned the majority. And it took 120 years to build the ark. And it had never rained. So people didn't know what rain looked like. God in his wisdom can lead you to a place where you can be safe. Until the Bible says, say, Lucifer, until the day that iniquity was found in him. He was doing well. Until the day that iniquity was found in him, he would have been okay. But something entered him. Be careful what will be found in you. Am I preaching at all? They, they want to crucify us. They don't like us. And internet has made it worse. Any little information about a pastor is overblown. Over-exaggerated. They don't like us. But it's set behind it. And it sounds very popular. It looks very popular for most of us. Never join in, in, in even discussing a pastor in a way that is not honorable. Don't do it! Please, stop it! It's not healthy for you. You pay for it. Never! Let alone to dis to gossip about a pastor who is praying for you. Don't follow the majority. Don't. You are making a mistake. Noah. Only eight. Write those scriptures down. Second Peter chapter 2 verse 5. 1 Peter chapter 3 verse 20. We read it earlier on. Hebrews chapter 11 verse 7. We've read that one. Genesis chapter 7 verse 1. Genesis chapter 7 verse 7. Genesis chapter 7, verse 23. These are all about Noah. Noah. Verse 23 says, So he destroyed all. Ah, ah, ah. The majority suffered. Many, it says that broad is the way that is leading to the many there be in. It's there. So God destroyed all living things which were on the face of the uh, uh, on the on the face of the ground. Both man and cattle, creeping things and bears, they were destroyed from the earth. Oh, only the minority. Only Noah and those who were. Who are you with? Those who were with Noah. See, the whole thing was on Noah. But anyone who was on Noah's side can be covered. Had immunity. Indemnity insurance. Amen. We have to close. Why don't you lift up your hands and bless the name of the Lord? Who will believe the report of the Lord? The report of the Lord is usually the truth is always followed by only a few. A few. A few. A few. A few. A few. Lord, I choose to, to go your way. We choose to do it your way. Some of us need to pray and ask for forgiveness for what you have entertained. For things, the direction you have gone with the crowd, which you know in your heart, the Spirit of God told you, don't go. Or you know in your heart, the Spirit of God is showing you. It was a wrong move. Pray and ask for forgiveness and repent. Father, thank you. Have your way in our lives. We choose to go with the Lord and to take the stand of Noah. For Jesus, you said, in that as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be in the days of the Son of Man. Father, let us be in the minority who were saved with Noah. Help us in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for listening to this message by David Entry. When God speaks, works show, and the works will surely show in your life. To hear more from David Entry, follow him on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, and subscribe to Caris Church on YouTube. Don't forget to share and subscribe to our podcast so you're always up to date. Be blessed.